The stork circled above the pool, looking down at the hyena. So, you are the one they call the ogre, he said. The world is full of strange things. To smell out a ghostly body that may be living in a person's body. She's so close to me. And one very important ingredient, the nose of a hyena. The hyena has a very good sense of smell, and this helps the Sangoma to smell out the ghost easily. Dusty blunt, dusty blow, dusty felt, dusty lucht. In a fool dry boeven in een same vlug, dis al. Dis a ballen gekom oor die oceaan, dis a graf in die gras, dis a vallende traan, dis al. She's so close to me. The head of the clan swaggers past, bristling with testosterone, its penis swings low and proud. The stork had never seen a hyena before. So, this is what a hyena is like, he thought. And he stood looking at the hyena because he had been told that if the hyena can put a little of his urine on someone, that someone will have to walk after the hyena to whatever place the hyena wants him to go. The hyena tilted his head. So, you still believe the lies, he cried. I have not seen the inside of your bladder, said the stork, but why does everyone say you can make magic with it? The hyena looked up. I said, don't come too near to me. I might lift my leg and cover you with magic. He laughed, and the stork was near enough to see that his teeth were brown. die delivering their first cups. So why do the females put themselves through this pain? Many reasons have been suggested. To prevent rape, to confuse, mimic, and even prevent infanticide by males. To add to the confusion, they also have a scrotum-like sac bulging with fat and tissue. It's covered with a thicker thatch of hair than that on a male's testicles. With no external vagina, they urinate, mate, and give birth through a canal running down the center of this shaft. Males skulk in the background, subservient, servile, and scared. Mmm. -hmm. 
In Africa, these female witches ride naked atop galloping hyenas with one foot dragging on the ground, the other on the hyena. This enables the hyena to attain extraordinary speed. Sorcerers enter trances and send their souls into the bodies of real hyenas. Hyenas who are witches take spiritual possession of people, creating a kind of soul hyena. But inside, where a human soul should be, lurks this hyena. With its confident rolling gait, this is one cocksure killer. But this well-hung hunter has a secret. He is a she. Her huge member, which many males would be proud to bear, is in fact a clitoris. A closer look at this family reveals there's not a male member in sight. This family is a sisterhood, a fierce one. These females are some of the most masculine in the world. Sniffing reinforces family bonds, and there's no smell on earth quite like this. At the fetal stage, female hyenas come into contact with high levels of male hormones, and it causes more than hair on their chest. These low-slung clitorises are even capable of an erection. Then he thanked Allah for eyes that could see the valley in the moonlight and for a nose that could smell carrion on the wind. He rolled some more and licked the rock under him. For a while he lay there panting. Soon he got up and limped on his way. These females are bigger, heavier and take them on at their own game. They dominate males in almost every situation, even hunting. Females lead the chase. Nio buyela ya umdeni ya mi nia impizi umbusi umbusi wa umhla ba awe tu amanla wa izimpizi. <laughs> 